I was just listening to Lizzo and I have to say, I just love her. I do. I love that girl, love her music, love her sound, love her style, love her panache. And uh, I love that she plays the flute. Not many people know that I played the flute for two, for six years in school. I was in, I started playing in junior high school and played right on up through the end of high school. I was in marching band and the wind ensemble. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but then we are already live. All good now. Okay, cool. Thanks, Rebecca. All right, so it's working. We are here. Yay. Okay. Boom. All right. And let's see, I'm going to open this up so I can, okay, but actually I have to turn down the volume. Here we go. Otherwise, we're going to get that weird echo, which we don't want. There we go. Awesome. Leanna is here. Hey, Leanna. It's nice to see you. Good morning from Paris. Good morning to Oregon. Uh, Let's see. All right. I was just talking to Rebecca about being playing the flute in high school and um, loving that very much. I loved band. I loved band practice. Like we would play, um, you know, we had our class that we'd play for like an hour or, or an hour and a half during regular school time, like every day. And then, you know, several days a week, we'd play after school for a couple of hours. And uh, I loved that as well. That was very cool. And then we would um, go to marching band, like parades and stuff on Saturdays. I think we went to, it seems like we went every Saturday, but I'm sure that we did not go every Saturday. But we also played during the football season. We went to every football game. That was a requirement. We went to the away games. We went to the home games. And... uh, we also did oh, we also did basketball as well. So that was actually really fun. So hey everybody, it's Crystalline and I am reminiscing about the good old days of um marching band because I was listening to Lizzo and she's a flautist and I'm like Lizzo, I got so much respect for that. I played the flute with these big old lips. Yes, I was rocking that, my embouchure. Yes, playing the flute. Um, so enough of that. <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome to today's live stream. Um, today's live stream is called Lux for Less, No More. The one key you need to be a bombshell that breaks the under-earning spell. That does rhyme a little bit, but it does not sound as cool as it did in my head. All right. So for today's topic, we are looking at um, you and your money, your relationship with money, because there's an issue that's going around that is actually quite chronic. And once I realized what was going on and how that was showing up for me, it very much became a game changer for how I did everything in my life, everything. And once you have this wake up call, I feel like it's going to be a game changer for you. And of course, I want you to make more money. So my goal with telling you about this is helping you to become a bigger money maker. And, um, and then we would, I feel like what I've learned is of vital importance. And this is what I've even written my ebook about. So, um, first of all, if you're Welcome. watching me live right okay. now, I want you to check in and give me a hashtag live or hashtag replay. If you're watching the replay, it's also incredibly helpful if you will, um, 
like this video or like this post, give it a thumbs up, give it a heart, give it some kind of a reaction and leave whatever comments are coming up for you. Very, very helpful for me and for the channel. And it's very, oh, it's a great way to support the cause. All right. So the thing that I want you to be kind of thinking about right now, because overall the topic is about under earning, meaning not earning enough money, not bringing in enough money to do more than just survive. And look, in today's society, we have been kind of taught to contract, 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 make a budget, um, live within your means, and, you know, do things so that you spend less. Well, I, while I agree with responsible money management, 100%, I'm very much into responsible money management. There's also something wrong with telling you to not spend when your soul is telling you to expand. So there needs to be a real balance living on your means and um, living according to your soul. And here's the thing that I want you to start embracing. And for the next three months, my message is going to be very much about you not living small and within your means, but rather how to become more of a generating energy, a generating force, how to um, tune into your own soul, your own vibration, but also how to tune into the higher frequencies and also how to dig into those deeper frequencies. So we know that we've got this Pluto and Aquarius shift. Pluto is a planet of depth and mining. It's a planet of wealth, but it's that wealth that comes from deep within the earth. So when Pluto moves into Aquarius, which is an air sign, it's like the energy of Earth wisdom is uniting with the wisdom of the air, the wisdom of the higher frequencies. So there is going to be tremendous access to really important um, information and incredible ways for you to tap into an abundance of what you desire. But really, the thing that I'm going to focus on is how to make more money, how to use this energy to make more money. Now, Rebecca has a link for you for something that's very, very important. And it is an assessment that I have created. It's called, Are You a Divine Cash Magnet or a Money Repelling Misfit? right? Are you a divine cash magnet or a money repelling misfit? Rebecca, will you please drop that link in for the ladies and um, let them start getting that downloaded? This is a free assessment. It will only be available for free for a short time because it is a part of a larger package. So you need to get this now. Do not wait. You got, you got a minute, click on that link, go get the download, um, save it, and then come on right back here and join the live stream so that you can know what we're doing. But this, um, this document is specifically for getting you aligned with the deep wisdom that you need to mine for the gold, the platinum, the diamonds, the sapphires, the emeralds that are within you, because that's what Pluto is going to be asking you to do. 
Pluto is not going to be doing anything for you, um, but giving you the power to find your own source, your own um your own moxie, your own sexual generative energy inside. That is Pluto's gift to you. So let me just check in and see who's here with me. I see Leanna signed on first thing. Thank you so much, Leanna. It's good to see you. And Aileen is here. Hi, beautiful. I'm so glad you've made it. And Juanita is here. Hey, Juanita. And you know what? I would love to find out. And Betty's here. Hey, Betty, nice to see you. Missed you yesterday, precious. But I'm glad to see that you were having a good time. Yes, living the life, man. Seeing my favorite comedian. I love it. Um, So I would love for you all just do a little check-in for me in the comments and let me know where you're watching from today. So I'm in Paris, France, obviously. Um, but let us know where you all are um, are coming in from. Hey, Nisi, nice to see you. I just saw that. <laughs> I just saw your little name pop up. Welcome. Um, but let us know where you're watching from um, so we can see how we're connected. So the thing that I'm going to be asking you to be thinking about is, you know, are you earning enough and are you earning really your potential, right? So maybe you've found yourself kind of staring at your bank account, wondering why, despite all your hard work, okay, hard work, dedication, showing up, why don't your numbers reflect your effort and that inherent value that you have to offer? And look, it's it's important to understand that this is a really common narrative um, for visionary women like me, like you, okay? There's this, this nagging feeling that you're not making enough money. And the thing that I want to emphasize is that it's not just about the money in your bank account. It's really about the value that you place on yourself as a woman and the work that you do. All right. So I want to start off and I, I need to introduce myself because I kind of just jumped right in. My name is Crystal Lynn Bell. And I'm the founder of Badass Butterfly Spiritual Life Coaching. And I am on a mission to help women like you who crave financial success, you crave romantic connection and body confidence, and you really want the wealth to live life on your own terms so that you can so that you can create a meaningful legacy both for yourself, right? So that you can be well remembered, but also for your your children. You want to be able to leave a legacy for your children, of course, of wealth, but also, and this is the thing that that I love when I talk to women about legacy for their children, that legacy of being a good role model so that your daughters and sons understand how to treat themselves because you are modeling it. You treated yourself well and they are learning how to treat themselves well. You cared for them. They are learning how to care. They, um, they're learning so much from you and that legacy is really important um, for you to have a conscious awareness of what you are teaching your children and teaching your children how to value themselves, how to value their work and how to make money is so, so powerful. And I think the other part of the legacy to understand is that you also have the opportunity, the more successful you are for yourself, the more successful you can be for your community. I know that as a Black woman, 
if I am successful, I am creating a legacy for other Black women, for young Black women. As I move forward in building my business and writing and giving, um, respecting the work and my relationship with God and my relationship with creativity, I know that when I put myself out there and young women are seeing my videos, reading my books, getting my downloads, downloading my meditations, um, doing all the things, they are learning from me that they can do this too, right? So legacy works in so many ways and it's so, so important. Now, if you are someone who is driven by a desire to make a lot of money, to heal your pain, to pursue your pleasure, and to make a really big impact on the world, then I really want you to download the um, Are You a Divine Cash Magnet or a Money Repelling Misfit Self-Assessment. I laugh every time. Look, I when I came up with that title, I laughed. I laughed not at you, but I laughed at myself because for so many decades, decades, y'all, we're talking five decades, me being a money repelling misfit and not understanding why, why I kept repelling money. And now that I have understood it and I've like completely shifted my experience, you know I am sharing it. So yes, the name of the um the assessment is is funny, but it's also real because look, either you're a divine cash magnet that is doing like who's carrying the vibration and attracting the cash, or you're out there repelling money, which is not too bright. Okay, that would make you a money repelling misfit, and I am happy to say that I was once there. So don't feel bad if you find that that's where you are as well, because there is help. There is a solution. So um, just by the way, this is a beautiful um, checklist, checklist that I've created. It's also very, very striking. Of course, Rebecca has made it uh, look beautiful. I've put the beautiful words and the beautiful content to it. And Rebecca has made it beautiful for you to enjoy. Um, looking at it in the graphics. So three cheers for our girl, Rebecca. So um, under earning, let's look at this um, seriously now. Um, who on the call with me can identify as an under earner, meaning you don't make enough money to do all the things you want to do. And when I say that, I'm not talking about just basic, sur basic surviving. Okay. That might be you. You're not even basically surviving. If you're struggling to pay your rent, to pay your um, bills, to take care of your responsibilities, your kids, um, you know, that's, I'm not, that I am definitely talking to you, but that is not my focus because I'm talking about people who are really just at the, the survival mode. Okay. And the reason I'm saying that and making the distinction is because if you are in the not even surviving mode, you're not ready for what I'm presenting here. You need to have another type of thing um, that you work with. So I'm, I'm specifically today and with this assessment, and you can take the assessment too, okay? But understand that the things that I'm gonna be asking you to do might feel out of reach because there has to be something in order to, to be able to do the work that I'm talking about. There has to be something that's already activated in you that is ready to go to another step, okay? I'm not talking about the step of, oh, I am just now able to pay my bills. No, I am talking about the step of, I'm able to pay my bills, what's Next, I want more. I want to be able to 
um, buy my home as the next step. I want to be able to put myself through, you know, a PhD program or some kind of a, I want to further my education. Um, I want to launch my own business. This is really important. And you're financially prepared to do that. You know, it takes money to launch a business. This is not something where you get to say, oh, I want to launch a business, but you have zero dollars to invest in your education or even in, um, you know, any of the tools of starting a business. That's that's ridiculous. Don't do that. Go get a job to help you pay for your basics and then go start thinking about investing in your business. So I'm talking to people who are ready, who are, you know, you are doing just fine. But when it comes to wanting more, you have to use your credit cards, you have to borrow, um, or you have to um, deny yourself. You cannot do the things that you want to do because you don't make enough money. All right. And of course, this is beyond surviving. So, um, if this, if you are this person, um, you're probably very intelligent, you're brilliant, and you're working hard every day, pouring your heart into your career or your business. Um, you, you know, you're up early, uh, you work late, you're juggling many different tasks, and you're kind of doing all the things. But when it comes to financial reward, there's some kind of a gap, right? And it's like having a pot that never actually boils. Like it's all this energy, you got the top on it, right? And you got the flame turned up and you're like sitting here and you're like, damn, it's hot and I'm doing all the things, but the, 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 the pot is just never boiling. And this is a huge problem that so many of us struggle with. So what's at the heart of this matter? Really, it's about our own perception. Because if you've been following me for any time, you know that what you feel and think and believe on the inside is being manifested on the outside. Okay. And a lot of you are probably saying, but Crystalline, you know, I see my work. I deserve to get paid. Yeah. On a conscious level, you work hard, you deserve to get paid. But on a subconscious level, down below the surface where you don't understand, where you don't know, there are some things that are working against you and it's your own, it's your own self. So I want to just check in and see if I have any under earners on the call with me today. It doesn't look like, actually, it looks like nobody has responded. So hold on. Let me see. It looks like there are not a lot of people who are, who are identifying as under earners. Um, let's see. Aileen is in, in um, Pennsylvania. Nisi's in Cleveland, Ohio. Betty's in Florida. Thank you, Aileen. Yes, good. I'm glad that it's resonating. And yeah, Rebecca, she does. Our Rebecca knows how to um, knows how to design. Um, so this whole idea of um, of under earning. And, and I, look, I'm glad that none of you all feel like you're under earners, but that is the topic of today's, of today's conversation. And I personally was an under earner, like I said, for decades. And um, this idea that I didn't feel good enough on the conscious level, obviously I felt good enough. That's why I was working every day. That's why I built all these businesses. This is why I was working 60 hours. I thought that what I was building um, had value on a conscious level. But until I was doing the work and making the shifts to release the ancestral stuff, to change my complete mindset, to change my self-concept, my beliefs, but also 
it's the energetic vibration to change my karma, my ancestral lineage. Until I did that, there was no way that I was going to be able to have the breakthroughs that I need. So we have been conditioned to undervalue our contributions. And it's not just about external factors. It's really a lot about the internal dialogues that just keep repeating and um, manifesting, I'm not good enough. So this belief is really put into us at a young age. And um, it manifests in our adult lives, putting a ceiling on what we earn. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter what job you work in. Even if you're making $100,000 a year, um, if and that sounds like a lot for some people, I, I'll never forget when people were like, oh, in your business, you bring in a hundred and I was making, I think I had brought in $180,000. And someone was like, oh my God, like that is so much money. And I'm like, okay, um, it's a decent amount of money. And yes, I did create that within my business, but you know, what is the mindset that doesn't allow you to see yourself making 250,000, 500,000, a million dollars. What is, what is that mindset that doesn't allow you to, to, to break into that level of experience? So my, my philosophy really diverges from that conventional work harder to earn more mantra. Um, I really believe that you have to start deep on the inside, okay? So as I've said, it's not about getting another job. It's not about working more hours. It's not about adding another coaching program. It's not about raising your prices, not as the starting point. Sure, you can do all those things, but that would be just a lateral move. Working more hours to get paid more is not a breakthrough. It's not taking you to the next level. Working more hours to earn more money is just doing more of the same shit you've been doing. And that is not going to be the thing that actually gets you out of this level of earning. So you have to reshape your entire internal being, right? I call this, um, I call this my wealth framework, and I'm not going to go into this right now. But it's about um, changing yourself on eight different levels. Okay, we'll talk about that in another. I'm not going to go into it right now. So. Um, looking inward is what I want you to take from today's session. And um, the key to unlocking your financial abundance is understanding your true worth. And it's about connecting with your inner goddess, who is capable not of manifesting just wealth, but also significance being important, understanding that you are important, living with a purpose, and then immersing yourself in joy and ecstasy. So let's just kind of step back and look at this, um, this kind of big, take a big picture look. What I'm saying is that your self-doubt or your unwillingness to live in your greatest potential, to make the big commitment to go for your big dreams is keeping you in an under-earning cycle. 
of not making enough money. You're not making enough money. And if you in your mind choose to stay here, you will never break free of this cycle. It will follow you all the way through your working career and maybe even into retirement. A lot of people think, oh, when I retire, I'm going to stop working. Yeah. If you think that your worth and your your recognition of your self-worth is going to come home just because you've retired, you're kidding yourself. What you'll do is carry the I'm not worthiness into retirement and you will find that you don't have enough money to retire. I know somebody who's living that reality right now, never adjusted their relationship with worth and in retirement found themselves having to come out of retirement and go back to work and it is not pretty. So by addressing your internal narrative, you're going to be attacking the root cause of your um, your under earning, and you're going to be paving the way for true financial freedom. So again, I want to remind you to please download this assessment now because it's only going to be available for a short time and then you'll, you can, you can buy it from me. All right. I'm offering it to you as a gift now. Okay. But it will not always be available for free um, it will, because it's a part of a bigger package. So grab it. All right. Um, and Use this as the starting point to start expanding your mind. It's an assessment so you can see where your mind is. Is your mind aligned with um, with big money or is it aligned with struggling and barely surviving? You know, or is it aligned with insignificance? Oh, I'm not that important. I'm just here living my life. You know, oh, I'm just this. Oh, I'm not much. You know, like, oh, I'm just satisfied with this. Oh, I'd be lucky if I can just do this. Uh, stop. Stop. God did not put you here to just be like mediocre. Okay. You have an opportunity to live your best life. That's why you're put on earth. So reaching for your biggest dreams is an, is a, is a, is the way to honor God. You want to honor God? You want to you want to you want to give what do you give the man who has everything? You give him yourself. You give him all of yourself and you surrender and you say, "You know what? You put this dream in my heart. I have a dream to live this lifestyle. I have this dream to do this for my children. I have this, a dream to do this for my community. I have a dream to start this business." Okay. God gave you that gift. Now you take action on it. I have a dream to write this book. I have a dream to, to write this series of books to help these people. God, do it. Okay. <laughs> this is all a part of the same thing. All right. Allow yourself to start feeling the significance that is connected with the dream that God put in your heart. So. Download the Are You a Divine Cash Magnet or a Money Repelling Misfit self-assessment. And um, there's more to it, right? There's more to it. I've got more that I'm going to be talking to you about over these next um, these next weeks. And I'm, I've got a, um, we're still working on it, um, but we're going to be doing a free masterclass that should happen in about two weeks. All right. But I'm going to take you through a beautiful process to help you heal this. But again, it starts with the, um, with the assessment. All right. Now, um, again, um, I want to just also remind you all that I have created a, um, I've written an ebook. It is called the Venus Code Money Manifestation Blueprint. And um, 
It is an awesome book and I'm going to be releasing that officially. I'm actually not giving anyone access to it right now um, because this um, I'm doing a whole audio program along with it. So I'm putting all that together. If you want access to it, okay, get the assessment and you will be the first to actually receive access because all the people who have signed up for the assessment will have the first view um, of the book. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I want to thank you so much for um, joining me here today. Um, I will be back next Tuesday for another um, for another live stream. Next week, what are we talking about next week? Will I be able to actually remember? Actually, I have it written down. Oh, next week, we're talking about that kind of demon of just doing things to keep yourself busy. And that's not good. <laughs> I called it a demon, right? The demon of busy work. Like, oh, I'm going to just do this busy work and let that hold me back. That keeps me distracted. That is a killer. That is a dream killer. And yeah, that's a no. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. We'll be back to talk about um, how to overcome um, the distraction of busy work next week. All right, everyone, have a wonderful week. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.